beauties, you all know the drill. I'm going to go row by row, left to right, swatching every color on my hand. For some of them, I'm going to propose alternative colors you can use. In this video, I'm not gonna do eye looks. If you want me to do eye looks, put that request in the comments below. Our first color is Dahlia. For identifying these dupes, I looked at the swatches that Adept has on its own website. And this color that I picked is Bombovi or Super Duper from Glam Shop. In the photo, it looks like this shade is sort of a pinky that has a gold shift going into a green. And I think this color is a pretty close dupe for that kind of a shift. Just look at it, particularly if you use a tacky base here because it's a pretty flaky color and I use Base Booster from BH for this. Beauty is a quick disclaimer that I'm not claiming that any of these colors are exact dupes for what's in the palette. I don't own the palette, so it would be very difficult, in fact, impossible for me to say that. Also, I do my own take on these dupes, so I might change some of the colors to what works for me, you know, and I might not even have all the colors that would be exact dupes for these. So we see the pink shift, we see the bronze and gold shift, and from some angles, you should even be able to see green. I'm going to give you another alternative instead of Bombovi for Dahlia. And this is also another Glam Shop shade. This one is called Yummy. So in case you don't have the other one, this is an alternative. This could also possibly be used for other shades in the palette because the palette does have a lot of shades similar to this. But this goes pink to gold and it has beautiful shifts and even from some angles you will see green which is why I was like you know this is a good alternative it's a little bit more magenta than the shade in the palette again from the swatch which is why I chose the other shade but if this is more your jam this is an option our next shade in the palette is called tan toffee rose now I've seen different photos of this shade. In some photos, it looks more red. In some photos, it looks more mauve -y. And I chose to pick a mauve color, particularly that I couldn't see the difference between this color and the two other browns that were in the palette. In the swatches, they all looked pretty dark. And I chose to pick three colors that kind of went dark to light so that I could use them for making different types of looks. You know, I didn't want to have too many dark colors in the palette. And this is more of a mauve color. This is October Odyssey, the light version from Sydney Grace. And as a second option for tan toffee rose, you can use a pink color. This might be closer to what is in the palette, although what's in the palette is much more of a deeper pink. This is Flower Boy from ColourPop, and this is a lot more bubblegummy than what, what you see in the palette. Again, I wanted a light tone in this shade. It just gives you more option for the different looks you want to do. And I generally think Adept poses a lot of limitations with the types of mattes they put in their palette because a lot of people don't do all shimmer looks, so you're going to be limited by the mattes they offer and you end up doing a lot of similar looks because you're going to reuse the same mattes in the eye looks that you create. So the more variety you can provide for yourself in the mattes that you pick for duping, the easier it is going to be for you for making different kinds of looks. Our next shade in the palette is Meadow Foam which looks like a mauve pink shimmer. Now for this color, I picked Robin from Glaminatrix. Depending on which swatch you look at and which palette photo you look at, this shade could either be deeper than this tone than Robin or lighter than Robin. So it was difficult to know exactly what color it is. And I kind of decided to pick Robin because I also love these glimmers from Glaminatrix and I really wanted to use this in a palette. This glimmer in the shade does look pretty dark. So if I 
do that, you know, it goes into much deeper tones in the shade. And it's such a beautiful shade. It totally looks like I have metal on my hand. And I know Glaminatrix has a third series of these released. And I know my no buy is over. Maybe we'll talk about it in my to buy or not to buy. Continuing across on the top row, the next shade is called Arisema. And for that one, I recommend Majestic from Glaminatrix. This is one of my favorite neutral colors, beauties. This is so beautiful. It looks like it has tiny greenish glitters in it, although it's overall a pretty neutral shade. It's one of those shades that makes a color lover like me fall in love with neutrals. I don't know too much about the opacity of the shades in the actual Flying Fiddles palette, so I can't comment about it. But this shade is pretty translucent, so keep that in mind. So it does have a creamy base, but I'm pretty sure if you have a dark color on your hand and put this over it, you're gonna be able to see the color underneath. And then you do see some sort of a white silvery shift going all the way to bronze, gold, and even green from some angles. And frankly, I think those tiny greenish particles even look kind of blue from some angles. Beauties, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. It really helps it be seen by the YouTube algorithm and be recommended to other people who might be interested in similar videos. The next shade in the palette is called Daylily. In a lot of photos, this looks like a deep burgundy, but I kind of picked a deep mauve for it. You can pick a deep burgundy in the video that I posted recently during the eclipse. I recommended a deep burgundy from Sydney Grace, this one is also from Sydney Grace. I think the other one was Lord's Allaying or something like that. And if you want a burgundy, that's an option. But I wanted to do mauve because I thought it would go with all the pink shades in the palette. I also didn't want it to be super similar to the other brown in the palette and I thought a burgundy would have been. So I picked Brilliant Realm from Sydney Grace for this shade. And this is a beautiful deep mauve. The swatch of matte colors doesn't always look good. A lot of times they look like this, but they're not gonna look like this on your eyes. Sydney Grace mattes are my favorites, so I can guarantee you these are gonna be very high quality mattes. We're done with the top row. The first shade in this second row is called Daffodil, and the pan in the photos of the palette on Adept's website looks a lot more green than this color. There is another shade that could be a dupe that would be more resembling that color, but I use that shade instead of the middle shade in the palette, Scorpion Grass, because I didn't have a marble shade like that, and I also don't care for a marble shade. We will get to that color, and if you wanted to use that color instead of this color, you can do that. But for this color, daffodils to me are gold, and I thought a gold shimmery color would be great. What I tried to do was to pick a yellow that has a very prominent green shift, which this color definitely does. And beauty, this could be a dupe for the yellow that I used in my Eclipse inspired palette. And this is Margarita from Luxi, which is $3 and it is available. It might not be available this minute from Luxi, but it has not been discontinued. So it should be available from Luxi. Yeah, it couldn't get better than that. And I think it pretty reasonably resembles Lemoniada, which is the color that I picked for that palette. Again, you can pick this instead of that one. Such a beautiful yellow glittery shade with a shift of green. And if you don't have that Luxy shade, this is another alternative. This is Vela from Divina. I don't remember which collection this is from, but I know that I have the swatch of this collection, so you can also go and watch my Divina swatch videos. And this is such a beautiful, also super glittery yellow shade with a prominent green and a prominent blue shift. This one is even more translucent than the Luxy shade that I just swatched, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It literally looks like tiny glitters on my hand. Again, the beauty is anytime I use the term glitter on this channel, we're talking about eye safe stuff. I don't use plastic glitters or unsafe glitters around the eyes. 
The next shade in this row is Viola Bronze. I couldn't really understand the difference between this shade and Dahlia. It looks in the photos like this shade has a little bit of a blue in it, which is why I decided to pick Big Bang from Luxe, which is a beautiful pink shade with a prominent blue shift, some purple shift, and an orange undertone. So you see a lot of different shifts with this color and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's only $3 or less if you get it in a sale. So I figured, you know, it can't get better than this. This shade is also kind of translucent so you should be able to see what's under it. And because it has an kind of an orangey undertone, I thought this could be a good dupe for the shade that's in the palette again you can't really tell what shade is in the palette unless you own the palette because every single photo you see on social media or online is modified and enhanced in some way so it's very difficult to know exactly what color something is going to look like and because it's difficult to know what this shade is really going to look like i'm going to give you two alternatives if you didn't like what i just swatched because again in the swatches it kind of looks orange like a regular orange but in the pan it looks like it's a cool toned orange so the first alternative would be hibiscus which is an orange with a golden green shift this is an absolutely gorgeous 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 shade that green adds a little bit of coolness to the shifts and then from some angles you should be able to see a little bit of coral so it also has that pinkness of the shift that we see in the swatches online but the base is much more orangey coral so if you have this shade this is an option and that green shift actually turns kind of teal from some angles which adds the coolness that we've been seeing on the photos online and the second option here is galactic blossom from terra moons this one is a little bit more coral and has a much more prominent teal shift so definitely a lot more cool toned from some angles than the one i just swatched from glaminatrix hibiscus however this one has more of a coral base than an orange base but the green tealy shift is a lot more prominent and then you do see an orange shift and a gold shift it's such a beautiful shade let me Hold the three together to make sure you can see how they differ. So these two are significantly less pink, and this one really is much more pink. The next shade in the palette is Scorpion Grass. This shade in the palette is a marbled shade that has some light tone greens, some blue, and some orange in it. And you all know I'm not the biggest fan of marble shades that have complementary colors and colors that if blended together are going to give you brown or a variation of a neutral so i kind of don't understand the point of doing that because you might feel like you're going to get something and then not get it when the colors blend so instead i decided to pick the color among these three colors that i wanted to see in the palette which is the nice green i thought that nice green would go with all the other colors in the palette pretty well now you could pick the blue or you could pick an orange. And that's exactly why I chose Canary from Glaminatrix. This is another one of the shades from their Glimmer collection. And these Glimmers I already mentioned because we swatched another one earlier. Totally all of them look like they're tiny glitter particles put together. If you look at the photos on Adept Cosmetics website, this shade looks more similar to the shade that they used for Daffodil than the yellows I showed you. So you could use this instead of that color and choose a different color for this specific pan the next shade in the palette is pompon button and i think that's some sort of a plant and what i see in the swatch looks like a green shade that has a tealy bluey shift and for that i decided to pick beyond apollo from terra Moons, which is exactly that dark green shade with a tealy bluey shift this does have a black base so keep that in mind but it also has a purple shift from some angles, blue shift, green, and also teal shift. Such a beautiful shade, and I thought it 
pretty closely resembles what I see in the swatches. Terra Moon's black base multichromes are pretty expensive, so if you don't have Beyond Apollo, this is another much more economical alternative. This is Dragon Slayer from Luxy Beauty, and it totally will give you both the green as well as the teal shift. Now this one has a much lighter base, which honestly I personally prefer. And because the base is a little bit, I don't want to use the term burgundy, but it's a little bit reddish, you know, it has some red in it. It actually goes much better with the mattes in the palette. So this might even be a better option than that Terra Moons shade. Also the shifts, this one has a gold shift instead of a purple shift. So if you care about color matching, and if you're someone who likes to match golds with other yellows and so on, this shade might actually work much better for you. Another option for this shade is this color. I think I've used this one in some other custom-made palettes and so on. This is called Baby No More Time from Touch of Glam. This is from, I think, the Birthday Collection. And this is one of those absolute metallic multichromes. So this one definitely has a lot more prominent shifts than the two that I swatched before it. And they're all kind of different textures. So you pick whichever one works for you. This one has a gold shift, a teal shift, a bronzy even. You could call it sort of a coral shift. In the shade, even a purpley shift. Maybe even a blue shift from some angles. It's great to pair with all the other colors in the palette because it has that gold, so it goes with the yellows. It has kind of a reddish base, so it goes with the mattes that we have and even the other pinks. The next shade in the palette is Yellow Bronwyn. This one in the swatch looks like a light goldy shade with a red base. And for that, I picked meteorite from terra moons which is exactly that a yellow bright yellow shade with a sort of a reddish base this is also a super beautiful shade because it looks like it has tiny glitters throughout so it goes with everything else that i swatched for you all now i did say it has a red base i mean you be the judge it kind of has a pinky base if you don't want to call it super red. But there's a lot of similarities I, that I see between this color and what I see in the swatch, particularly that the swatch also looks like it has a hint of green, and this one definitely has a greeny, tealy shift. And also it has a pink shift from some angles, separate from the pink base. And of course, the mild, prominent gold shift. I love these kinds of shades from Terra Moon Ceres. This one, Daybreak, that I showed in my last video. Yeah, Terra Moons, if you're hearing this, bring these back or do more of these. I love them. We're now at the last row, and the first shade in this palette is Sahara, which looks like a warm toned brown in the photo, but in the swatch, it doesn't look as warm toned. In the swatch, it looks a little more cool toned. I prefer going by the swatch because in the photo of the palette, I don't know, but again, all of these are modified. I don't think any of these photos are exactly true to what you're gonna get. So I kind of picked a shade that would go with the other mattes in the palette. So this is more mauve but a very, very dark mauve. It's also from Sydney Grace. This one is Plummet. And it's a lot more warm toned swash than what you get in the pan. Again, if you wanna go warmer there are other options you can use lords allaying if you didn't use that earlier the next shade is the honey spurge which in the pan it looks like a very light toned shimmery cream in the swatch it looks like it has some light cream some light pink and that's why i picked goddess from glam shop and this one is exactly that metallic -y, shimmery light shade that has kind of a shift of cream kind of a shift of pink now this one might be a little more pink than what is in the palette based on the swatches again if we assume the swatches are true to color 
but I thought it goes well with what how I constructed the palette because of all the other pinks that are in the palette. The pinks would totally go. Now this shade does have an orangey shift from some angles that, you know, it's kind of a cool toned cream, which is definitely something that can be seen both in the photo of the palette as well as in the swatches, which is why I thought this would go as a dupe. Blue Crown is our next shade, which looks like a multichrome or duochrome with a burgundy ready base and a blue to teal glaze over it. And beauties, I just did a video where I swatched all of this kind of singles. So I'm going to show you one option that I picked, but if you don't like this one and if you have any of those, you can pick one of those. I'll tag the video on the screen for you all and below, but the one that I picked is Glam Shop's Vegas Bis. If you look at this from top, it has a teal shift, but from my angle, it has a bluey purpley shift and it definitely has a burgundy base. Let's swatch it. But the swatch looks pretty similar to the swatch of that color in the palette. Beauties, just to be a little funky, I thought another option for this color could be Pink Hollow from touch of glam again i was trying to choose a holographic shade that would go with this palette and because of all the pink colors in this palette i thought this would go this shade does look like it has blue in it which is part of the reason why i thought you know a vegas bis could be what we replace this with but you pick what works for you i just want to give you all options Okay, beauties, only two more colors to go. Although in the photo of the palette, it didn't look like this, in the swatches, Rust Bunny looks like an actual multichrome. And this is the most commonly seen multichrome, which is the one that goes green all the way to pink. The one that I picked is Australis from Divina, but every single brand that has done multichromes has a dupe for this. It's even the most commonly seen one in palettes. Some palettes I can think of that have this color in them is Delicious Delights from Cosmic Brushes. One of the older palettes from, God, there is a hail going outside. You might be hearing the hail hitting my window. One of the older palettes from Juvia's Place. Was a palette of my dreams or something like that from Natasha Denona? Yeah, so this color exists from a lot of brands. And in fact, even LA Girl had a dupe for it that I talked about in a few of my videos. I'll tag one of those videos. You don't have to go pay 18, 19, 20 dollars to buy exactly this shade if you don't have it. You might be able to get your hands on one of the dupes that are way cheaper than this. This has a Pink shift going all the way to green shift. Our last shade in the palette is Green Kelly, which is a beautiful deep teal. I picked this shade from the Best Mattes palette from Bella Beauté Bar. Unfortunately, these shades don't have a name. Otherwise, I would tell you the name. But let me quickly swatch it. I loved seeing this teal in the palette because if you remove the teal, the palette looks way more neutral and you all know how I feel about neutrals. So this is such a beautiful teal and it could be paired pretty well with the greens, with the yellows, even with the pink. And as you can see, that teal color did stain. But oh well, beauties, with that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my playlist of duping popular palettes. The playlist should be recommended to you on the screen. Have an amazing day and until next time, bye.